Hello, I am Tim. I'm Dan. Hey, I'm Mitchell. And we're Cut Copy. Remember I brought like Mitchell's drum kit over and I didn't have drumsticks so I played with paintbrushes. <laughs> I just remember that. And I, I had paintbrushes on this snare drum and you had like the microphone like at the kick and I'd hit the kick and you'd move it up and I'd hit the snare with this paintbrush. <laughs> That's what Cuck Hobby was. That's yeah. how we started. That's yeah. Yeah. Highly professional <laughs> I certainly don't sit there kind of writing poetry. Um, it's definitely something that comes after um, uh, after writing the music. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, the music's definitely kind of foremost for us. It's, um, yeah, something I've always kind of um, felt the music sort of needs to be the focus. Oh yeah, it's from uh, Risky Business. It's from Risky Business. I was re-watching Risky Business about a year or year and a half ago, and um, there's a lyric from out there on the ice. I can't remember the first lyric. Yes, no. Yes, maybe. no, maybe. And he keeps he keeps saying it throughout the film. I knew Dan was a big, um, big risky business fan. So I like texting him saying, "Did you get the lyrics from uh, out there on the ice from Risky Business?" And he was like, "I don't know what you're talking about." <laughs> and then I kind of explained the whole thing. We watched it. And was like, oh, maybe maybe he did. Subconscious. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, I guess, partly maybe a sort of reference to like some of the kraut rock stuff we, we like listening to that um, you know where a whole side of a record is pretty much like continuous music it just sort of takes you on like some kind of weird psychedelic voyage um, and obviously like our record's not exactly like that but um, but just sort of having those extra textures and sort of sound effects and kind of um, yeah just sort of themes through it I guess um, sort of creates more kind of you know visual images and, and kind of just possibilities for someone when they're listening to it I just think it it makes the listen a lot more interesting for people and perhaps holds up to more repeat listening as well. Um, you know, you can kind of hear new things each time you, you sort of listen through it. Um, so, so yeah, I guess just trying to make the, the whole album something that really kind of works together rather than just um, a collection of songs. Stone.com. Com.